And now, uh, since Obamacare and these issues have come up, the women are in my grill, <laughs> no matter where I go. And they're saying, they come up, when's your next town hall? And believe me, it's not to give positive input. <laughs> they, 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 yeah. they showed up here. Here, they're here. No, I, today, so 15 they, minutes ago. Right. And so that, on my Facebook, there's a whole new paradigm going on, on the official side, the campaign side. Uh, we're going to take away people's rights. And uh, these are intelligent people. I met a, one of the women in my neighborhood at a high school event uh, last week. Government thing I, I spoke on when they just got done going over on enumerated powers and all this stuff. Before the kids on Constitution Day, and mom comes up and says, I can't believe you're going to get rid of Obamacare. We have a right to it. And I go, did you miss the kids a half hour earlier on? I don't think health care is in the enumerated powers, right? So I didn't say that. But I, I try to be Christian, right? And kind. <laughs> Uh, but she went at it, and she was quoting CBO, right? She, she knew, CBO, she said, CBO is scoring Obamacare, you're going to get rid of health care for 18 million people, and costs are going to go up. Well, I said, that's a little counterintuitive, though, isn't it? I mean, we're going to get rid of 18 million people, and costs are going to go up. I said, how can that happen? Right? But that's the way CBO scores things. It's totally upside down. But that, that is what they say, and that's what they're quoting, and the left has it down, right? And they're out in whatever, 2 million in D.C., and... Denver and Chicago and New York and they're out, right? So that's the new thing. So uh, what I want, I'm going to kind of work this backward. But the ask is, everybody in this room, everyone in this room knows this stuff, right? We're all in agreement. And so keep sharing the ideas. You've got to have the ideas out there. But we need to get really organized, right? We got this one uh, small little entity in this country that's got probably 100 million people in it that's underutilized. It's called the church. Yes. Yeah. And so get with your churches and help us identify which churches, Catholic, Protestant, Evangelical, Hispanic, African American, oh, we're all united on that, right? And that's, if we can unite on that, uh, that solves a lot of issues. And then help us, whatever district we're in, me and Rob and whoever's here, is Tom still here? No. Yeah, no. Good. Well, whoever, whatever district you're in, Help us organize those lists of churches, the, the good guys who are supportive, and help us message, help us write newspaper articles. We're getting hammered. Yep. Right? The Richmond Times Dispatch. Anybody read that anymore? <laughs> it, it's unbelievable on a daily thing. The other day, they, they said they're going to pray for everybody. They're praying for Trump and who was it? And Hillary. So there's a juxtaposition there, right? We're going to pray for Trump and Hillary, and then we're going to pray for Tim Kaine, and it should have been me. <laughs> and instead they prayed for Barbara Comstock up in Northern Virginia. <laughs> but, so, and they do this intentionally. I'm not paranoid. That, 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 <laughs> it, it's unbelievable. But the things they put in that paper, they're just little digs every day. They got contradictions all over the place. Yesterday, two days ago, they said, I don't know, we hate Trump. And then the conclusion was you shouldn't hate anybody. Right? <laughs> they start off with one, read these things, and it shouldn't take too much critical 